What's up Charlie? In this video, I'll take you through how to master fashion retouching using the powerful Retouch For Me Photoshop plugins. These plugins are fantastic tools designed to make your fashion portraits look flawless in just a few steps. The good thing about these plugins is they, they come as a standalone or as Photoshop plugins. So you can use them even if you don't have Photoshop. But in this tutorial, we are going to use them inside Photoshop. The image on our screen is what we are going to use for this demonstration. This image has already been raw processed in Capture One. I have a video on how to do that. I'll add the link in the description so you can check it out after watching this video. With my traditional workflow, what I do usually is to do blemish removal first. So if you look at this image zoomed in, you realize there are a few blemishes on her face even though she appears to have a very good skin if you zoom in you realize that there are just a few blemishes to take off so with a normal retouching i'll create an empty layer i use the clone stamp or the healing brush to do that but then with the help of retouch for me ai we're going to do that in a very very simple and intelligent way so first of all let's duplicate this background layer then we go to filter retouch for me and then here we have here now in the first place we are going to use three plugins from retouch for me the first one is the heal then we have dodge and burn and then portrait volumes so first of all we are going to use heal so once we click on it it opens up the plugin for us so this is ai is going to do some calculations which are very very close to accurate so here let me increase this first of all i'll click on make mask i'll explain that as we move on so this is our image let's zoom in a bit and see what we have so this is what we have you can check before and after so you see before and after let me go in much more so you can see so this is before this is after before after so it's taking care of the blemishes the sensitivity slider here is what you use to either increase or decrease the amount of blemish it will take off so here it shows us a mask of what has been taken care of i think um, it's done a good job here so we click on apply and that should take us back to photoshop so here we have if we disable this before and after so you see here it makes this um, layer transparent so you can go ahead and then take off more blemishes if you wish to do so now let's save this before we continue so that's the first step the second step is to do dodge and burn now micro dodge and burn is a very tedious way of retouching it's time consuming and very very difficult in my opinion so using ai to get this done within the shortest possible time it's of great help which means you can retouch more images within the shortest possible time now we need to create a stamp layer out of these two and then we go to filter retouch for me now we click on dodge and burn this is ai it has to do a lot of computation a lot of calculations to get the whole thing well so it's a uh, resource intensive you need a powerful system to be able to to make good use of uh, these plugins so once it's done with the calculations we'll zoom in and then take a look at before and after so this is before this is after let's go one more in before after before and after so let's um, go here now over here with the blend it has to do with the intensity how intensive you want the calculation to be first of all let me select soft light layer and i'll explain that as we move along so here if you look at preview this shows us what has been dodged and burned we are more concerned about her skin since we are doing skin retouching here so zoom in here and then take a closer look so preview you see it has done a very very decent and neat job if you wanted to do this by hand manually it would have taken you longer to achieve this so here you can use the brush to add or use the eraser to erase some of the places that have been affected with the blend here you can increase the sensitivity or decrease it based on what um, ai has been able to achieve for you 
So with this, I think we'll go somewhere around 120. And then let's check before and now, before and now. I'm happy with this. So I'll go ahead and click apply. So the reason why we chose the soft light layer, it's so that we'll be able to change the opacity. I will be able to change the blend. So let's go to blend and then we choose soft light. So with that also, it, it creates um, a transparent layer. So we'll be able to add or subtract in case we need to do so. So here I'll save again and then our image is um, looking good. So we'll go ahead and then create a visible stamp layer and then we'll go to the third plugin which is portrait volumes. Now what portrait volume does is um, like a global dodge and burn so it adds depth to the image. If you're interested in these plugins, I'll add a link to the description, which if you use to do your purchase, you will get a massive discount. So here also we we'll select soft light layer and then we zoom in and then see how it's going. Now, if we check preview, see what it's done. So this is affecting like the whole image. That's a way to select only the portion where you want it. But in this tutorial, we will just look at uh, the whole thing. So here, the blend here does the same thing. So if you increase it, it's going to add. If you decrease it, it's going to reduce it. So that's what it does. Now let's keep it at um, 80, somewhere 80 ish. And then let's look at uh, the original and now see what's happening before, after, before and after. I think 80 is good. So we'll just click on apply and just like the previous dodge and burn, you would have to come and select soft light here to get it to come back to normal. So here is a full image. Now, if you look at this within uh, this short period, if it wasn't because it's a tutorial, I would have done this within just some few minutes. So here we realize that this has sped up our workflow. With this, we are able to retouch more images faster. And then, which means what? More money for us because we, we will be able to deliver more images within the shortest possible time. This being a fashion image, you don't need to do too much retouching. Unlike uh, beauty retouch where you have to make sure everything is um, correctly done. With fashion, you get away with some of um, these uh, few things. Once we are done with this, the next thing is to export. So let me just save this and then go to capture one and this is our final image here. So the next thing is to just export and then we are good to go. If this has been helpful to you, don't forget to share it with someone you know will benefit from it. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.